Hi and welcome to NTRAS. In this video we're going to be talking about adding a static route to a Windows 10 machine. Now one of the reasons you may want to do this is if you have multiple connections on your computer or laptop. In this case we're going to see that I have a wireless connection that provides internet connectivity as well as a wired connection that provides access to my lab environment. One of the first things we need to do is come in here to the command prompt and make sure to elevate the command prompt by running as administrator. By doing this, it'll allow us to configure routing on our Windows box. If we type route print, you'll see that we have two default gateways, one provided by my wireless network and one provided by my lab network. Now in this case, we would want to get to 10.0.10.253, which is an IP address of a network device on my lab, but I can't get there because for some reason it's using my wireless as a default over the wired connection. Now keep in mind, we have the 10.2 networks as my home network and the 10.0 network as my lab. So to be able to get to my lab, what we can do is route add, and then we provide a network, in this case 10.0.0.0 with a mask of 255.255.0.0 and my default gateway of 10.0.100.1 as you can see here. Once this is done we can do a slash p for a persistent route which means it will stay across reboots and we hit enter now we can see if that route has indeed been added as a persistent route. So to get to the 10.0.0.0/16, we now use our wired connection. You come up here and you'll see that it has been added to the active routing table as well. If we do a route question mark, this will give us some examples of how to configure it. Printing printing for IPv4 or IPv6 or matching only those with a specific IP address range and of course an example of how to add a route. Now interesting enough you don't see a slash p listed here under examples. However if we come up top it shows us a couple of options. We can clear the routing table of all gateway entries typically you wouldn't want to do this Otherwise, you would specify a persistent across reboots of the system. By default, routes are not preserved when the system is restarted. So keep in mind you might want to add that dash P or slash P because across reboots it will go away. So we can try to ping 10.0.10.253 now and we get the response. So we can come back over here to our network device and see if it connects. And as you can tell, it did work because we specified that static route. But keep in mind, we still have access to the internet here because we do indeed have the wireless connection to our home network and the wired connection to our lab environment. Stay tuned because I will be doing an upgrade of my Firepower device manager on my Firepower 1010 appliance. And that video will come up pretty soon. Thank you for watching.